Hi, I'm John Griesbach with Diamond H2O. Today I would just like to go over how to determine the flow direction of your RO system for membrane changes or just determining uh, if your system's working. This holds true with just about every RO system, so uh, what I want to point out first off is with uh, the clear flow or with the diamond ROs, what you're going to find is we'll have indicator arrows on the membranes. Okay, these arrows point in the direction of the flow. All right, this is important for when you're changing membranes or when you're doing uh, diagnostics, uh, trying to figure out if there is a problem. Okay, one other way, if there is not arrows on your uh, housings, is to actually trace the plumbing of your RO system. The easiest way to do that is just kind of determine which tubes go where. All right, so you've got your clear hose that goes to your product or your permeate, and you've got the black rubber hose, which is your concentrate. All right, your concentrate comes out of your pump. So that is actually your feed water, but that's your concentrate side of your RO system. So your feed water comes out of your RO system or out of your uh, pump. It feeds the outside of a membrane cap. The outside of your membrane cap is the feed channel to your RO membranes. So the water comes in the bottom of your membrane in the direction of flow, which is up, comes out through your black hose to your second membrane. And that goes down through that membrane. Okay? Out of the bottom of that membrane, it comes up to your concentrate flow meter. Okay? Now, the more membranes you have, the more difficult this might uh, be in tracing the lines. However, the same principles exist, whether you have one membrane or you have a dozen membranes. If you have any questions in regards to the flow of your RO system, please contact us at diamondh2o.com. Thanks and have a great day.